Hello, mi gente linda, mi gente bella. I pray you guys have a blessed day. Que tengan todos un bendecido día. If you don't know me, my name is Daikiri and welcome to my channel. Okay, so I'm not set up at all. I'm just on the couch and I have my phone in my hand and that's what I'm going to be recording with today. But I've been really wanting to speak on a certain subject and I prayed just now that the Lord just guides me through this video and that I could get my point across and what I actually really want to say. But recently, I've been seeing all over um, many videos in social media where people are saying that Christians who evangelize are shoving Jesus down their throats or shoving Christianity down their throats. Now, I want to speak on this because it's what we're called to do. One, we are Christians. We received the good news, which is the gospel. We received then salvation through Jesus Christ and the blood that was spilt. He paid for us. We're brand new, right? As Christians, we're supposed to talk about our testimony, even though like the pastor said today, I went to church and the pastor was basically talking about the lies of the devil and talking about that we were already paid for. Sorry if my hand is shaking. I'm literally on my phone. We were already paid for. We already, like, we need to share our testimonies. We need to, what else did he say? He said, I forgot to take my notebook, so I don't have the notes, but there was a lot of good good context and if I can I will link the video of today's sermon if anybody is interested in listening to that but what basically my point is is that as a Christian we have to share the good news okay we are willing to share the good news to anyone who is willing to listen to us okay Anyone who wants to, even if it's out of curiosity, but wants to hear what God has done in our lives and what he is capable of doing in your life, like we are willing to share it with whoever. Now, a lot of evangelists, I'm not sure if all of them, a lot of them, I think, if you say no, thank you, I don't want to hear it. They will probably bless you and let you go on your merry way. Nobody's holding a gun to your head telling you to shut up and listen because we're about to beat you with this Bible until you become a Christian. That is shoving a religion onto you or down your throat. But that's not what we're doing. We're sharing the gospel because we have tasted how good God is in our life. We have tasted him lifting our burdens. At least me, me personally, Daigiri. I have seen mountains move. Things that I thought that were going to be impossible to occur. And the Lord has worked in my life in a way that I, I could never ever thank him enough. That's why I serve him. I try to serve him as best as possible because the things that he have done, he has done to me in my life, even though a lot of them, the Lord is so good that he, he's in tune with the details. I, I, I'm a mom. I don't have a job. And it's my life is boring but even in the little small details when it comes to my kids or my household he is there and he shows up and even in the big big situations where you're just like i can't see an outcome he already saw it 
And that's why we want to share the good news. That's why we want to share with you how Jesus has come. He already paid the price for you. All you need to do is listen. Listen to his word and, and, and accept him into your heart. But I know how hard that is. I was in the world. I wasn't a Christian until three years ago. I'm a baby Christian. I'm a toddler Christian, okay? And when I tell you that I was the one who said no thank you to tons of Jehovah Witnesses, to tons of people who would invite me to church, to women groups, to Bible studies, I was always the one saying no thank you no thank you or if like I had I have a lot of friends who grew up in a Christian household I'm not sure if they still are Christians but I remember growing up and being in my friends houses for bible study did I understand did I really care no I was just there because they were my friends I know what it is to feel like here comes the evangelic again telling me that Harry Potter is bad, that this is bad, that that is bad, that God doesn't want me to do this, that God doesn't want me to do that. And yet, the things that I was doing were leading to death. The things that I was watching was opening doors to demonic entities that later on showed themselves and revealed themselves in my life and caused terror in my life. So when these people were spreading the gospel to me, it was because they wanted to share the good news. To share that I'm not alone. That I have a God that sees me. I have a God who wants to redeem me or back then wanted to redeem me because I'm redeemed, girl. I'm redeemed. Nobody's trying to shove Jesus down your throat. We just want you to partake in the beauty that it is to live under him, to live a life with him inside of you. I have the Holy Spirit inside of me. I don't have to go to a priest. I don't have to go anywhere to a temple. All I have to do is sit in the quiet and ask the Holy Spirit to just dwell. And he's here. The Lord is here with me right now. And that's what we want to share with you guys. That's what we want to share with every non-believer. I have so many people in my family, in my uh, friend group, that complain about things and I'm just like if she or he only knew that praying without ceasing about that situation or just trusting that God has everything in control will take away that anxiety of that certain situation or will give you at least rest because we could rest in the Lord and trust that Whatever he decides is okay because he wants the best for us. Is is that. We want to share that. We want to share the blessing it is to have the Lord in our lives. Working in our lives. We want to share that it feels so good going with la corriente. How do I say that in English? Going with the flow when it comes to the Holy Spirit going with the flow going with the Holy Spirit and just trusting taking that leap of faith and trusting that the Lord has everything in his hands and all you gotta do is just do what you were doing work, pay attention, obey whatever it is that you were doing but just give it to the Lord and let him deal with it because he knows what he's doing and a lot of times we mess up We mess up with the Lord sometimes instructing us. Girl, let's not get into it. But um, 
yeah like i just okay so i didn't want to like i'm not gonna go in detail about what happened recently but we as in my family just went through it was like that's the thing like it wasn't super scary but it could have been super scary um there was just a situation where you know something could have happened to my partner and his job and like it was just this whole thing and at the very beginning that anxiety and that fear wanted to to overcome but I remember I'm a child of God and I prayed and I told him let it let your will be done and not mine I told him that I was gonna trust that if it was you know for the better for us to move on from this job opportunity then we were gonna move on and if not then we were good to stay like who cares right because the lord is in control and i could tell you that it was scary because my partner doesn't have that same faith i believe but and like he he kept on thinking about what was going on and everything but i could trust in the lord like i could trust and it was that same around the same time i went to resilient women um it was a conference at my church and uh, the conference was basically about trusting god and resting in him because we can trust in him because he is faithful, because he is merciful, because he is gracious, because he is he loves us, he is love. And I could just trust in him that whatever was the outcome of the situation was gonna be in our best. It was gonna be for the best. And I and I trusted. And the Lord did his thing and now everything is good and it's just that feeling that i could trust in him and it's in and, and, and trust me like at first my hand is getting tired <laughs> I could trust in the lord um trusting comes with time can i say for sure that when i first came to the lord I trusted him completely no 100% no I didn't um but he showed me that he's worth trusting in and that's how you build your relationship with him you grow within him you grow because obviously the first day that I gave my life to Christ and today I've grown a lot in the Lord and I've learned a lot. And I've learned one of the things is trusting him. Just trusting him. Literally taking leaps of faith left and right. And trusting that he has my back. And if things don't go as I imagine them to go, I could trust in him that he will walk through that season with me. And he, he will give me the tools that I need to... Um, surpass those seasons and those are things that just make sense when you trust god it doesn't make sense to a person who thinks that we're crazy and we believe in a fairy tale and fairy tales in the bible and all this of course it doesn't make sense to you but you haven't seen the mountains the god that i believe in the true God, the one and only God has done in my life and in other people's lives. So when we share the gospel, we want to see those miracles in your life. We want to see the life come back into you. You know, we want you to experience the love and the faithfulness that we get from God and the mercy, and the grace, and the redemption, and the forgiveness, 
We want you to experience that. But we're not shoving him down your throat. Okay? You could say, no, thank you. Your day of saving might not be that day. It might be the next or the year after that. And, yeah. I just wanted to comment on that. It was, like, really pressing in my heart to speak on it. Um, but, yeah. We just want to share um, the goodness of God. And when you have something that good, you can't gatekeep. Like, you can't gatekeep God. Like, you can't gatekeep Jesus. It's too good. It's really too good to keep to oneself. I mean, I wish I could, but no. I want everybody to know how good Jesus is. I want everybody to know that he loves you no matter what. That he's not waiting for you to get fixed up. That he's not waiting for you to clean your act up. He wants you right now. The way you are right now. And because he loves you and he wants to redeem you. And he he wants to make you clean. And and, You see, that's why we spread the gospel. That's why we tell our testimonies. Anyways, I hope anybody who's seen this video i pray that you have a blessed day that the lord guides you that the lord takes the the scales the scales <laughs> off of your eyes if you're an unbeliever i pray that if you are a believer that you get the boldness to preach and spread the gospel and spread your testimony and tell anyone who has ears to hear that God is good and God wants a relationship with the person that you're trying to preach to, okay? Um, I pray that you guys have a good night. Que Dios me los bendiga. And I'll see you, well, you'll see me on the next one. <laughs> All right. Good night, guys. Bye.